Hello everyone, this is Team 3. We would like to talk about H&M case analysis, marketing plans, and recommendation. These are the contents of our presentation, and let's start with introduction of H&M. H&M is one of well-known SPA fast fashion brand. With a corporate motto of fashion and quality at the best price, H&M is a clothing brand originating in Sweden. Their history began with Hennes, a women clothing company founded in 1947 by Erling Persson. Erling Persson's business philosophy for fast fashion, diversely, cheaply, quickly put forth in Hennes, succeeded in keeping with the growing economy of Sweden right after World War II. H&M, which began offering women's and men's wearing in 1986, gradually expanded its business internationally. H&M is said to have started collaborating with world-class designers after contemplating a special attempt to present luxury design fashion at a reasonable price with the planning intention of democratizing high fashion. In 2004, starting with collaboration with Karl Lagerfeld, each season H&M brought new products with Stella McCartney, Alexander Wang, and others. H&M has been ranked Best Global Brand 100 and Best Global Green Brand since 2008 and 2012. The category of H&M is called Fast Fashion or Spa. It adopts the latest trends and a short cycle at low prices. However, since these fashions are often discarded, they are also being criticized for environmental issues. There are three representative companies in spa brand. Let me start with Zara. It is a company that fits the most common spa definition. Zara supplies at least two new designed clothes every week to more than 1,700 stores around the world. This is why Zara is the fastest and most sensitive to trends. Since the turnover rate is so fast that the inventory rate per product is less than 20%, Japan's Uniqlo has a completely different strategy from Zara. Uniqlo is not sensitive to fashion. Instead, they try to create long-term trends. Uniqlo is a style that competes by developing original materials in the long term. Unlike Zara's colorful dresses, Uniqlo strives to present products that are casual and of higher quality. Sweden's H&M strategy seems to be a good mix of Zara and Uniqlo strategies. H&M's produces about 80% of clothing in advance. Only 20% of products are released with the line with the market trend. Although H&M offers trendy products like Zara, it produces children's underwear like Uniqlo. H&M tends to rely entirely on outsourcing from design to production. In order to identify the latest trends, it operates a team of designers, creative directors, and pattern makers. Then I will announce H&M analysis with SWAT. First, in the strength. Effective stretch is H&M's method that shows high turnover rate with the latest trends. Valuable brand means that H&M has been customer-centric approach since it's adopted and was ranked 58th in world's valuable brands, as measured by Forbes in 2019. Next, in the weakness, over-dependence on outsourcing means that H&M outsources most of its production to over 900 independent suppliers. Controversial products are events which boycott H&M, promoting racism. Uninspired fashion is a major weakness since customers are drawn to new and radical trends but not existing fast fashion trends. In opportunities, exploit e-commerce fully. It means that compared to its competitors, 
H&M lags far behind its e-commerce usage and sales. And this is an opportunity to maximize the use of e-commerce based on many examples. Focused on emerging markets, from Asia to Africa, the growing middle class in emerging markets presents H&M with the greatest potential for growth. Finally, the threats are impending recession means that even though clothing is unnecessary, but trendy clothes are not. So, in some situations, fashion retailers can experience a sharp decline in sales. Independent competition means that H&M is facing stiff competition from many brands like Zara, Uniqlo, so on. Increase in counterfeit is about fashion brands, fake designs, and products. If counterfeit products continue to be traded globally, H&M's profits will also suffer. And let's see the part of case analysis of H&M together. Promotion failure. In 2018, after processing the promotion wearing a hoodie with a parade's police monkey in the jungle on a black child model, H&M caused controversy with advertising because of racist problem. Looking at this situation from a marketing perspective, this company had a mistake on encoding message, Clis Monkey in the Jungle. Considering that there were many people who deprecated black people as monkeys in the past, this is a topic that anyone might feel as a racist parade. From the perspective of black consumers that had a child, on decoding process, transforming message can be received negatively. If they consider the demographic trends, especially demographic segments by age group and ethnic population development, they wouldn't face the situation. Let's see the outcomes of the failure. Because of the H&M's racist remarks, not only South African H&M store destroyed by protesters who felt racism, but also boycott spread all over the world. From a demographic or geological perspective, it was something that could have happened. Even influential celebrity did not stay still. Canadian singer-songwriter The Weeknd and basketball player LeBron James expressed their anger on their SNS account with photo. And even The Weeknd announced that they would end all partnership with H&M. As a result, H&M sales have not only declined significantly, but it has also created a negative perception among people around the world. As you can see the graph upper left, the market share was falling down. It can be found for the following reason. Experts point out that H&M is lagging behind the digital competition. In recent years, H&M has been stuck upline at a time when the retail industry is competing online. H&M needs to find a solution for both online and upline if they don't want to be go down like the graph above continuously. Even if we solve the market share of problem mentioned earlier, environmental problems still remain. The fast fashion have been constantly raised that it causes environmental pollution from product manufacturing to disposal. It makes consumers begin to look for a conscious fashion. Conscious fashion means the clothes that are made environmentally and ethically from materials to manufacturing processes. H&M has stressed that it is an eco-friendly company, saying it is increasing the use of eco-friendly material every year, but it has not been clear exactly what material it uses. It has been criticized by consumers and public opinion. Even now, H&M will have to clarify everything and pursue conscious fashion, not fast fashion anymore. Reconstruction of H&M H&M recognized severity of their company, so they started to reconstruct the company in response to changes in the market, not only insisting on cheap clothes, but also focusing on some ways. First, supply of digital system. Digitalization is at the center of our transformation, HM manager said, stimulating the need to change our minds faster. H&M stopped increasing its offline stores and started increasing investments in its online business and launching various chain brands. Second, localization. Instead of printing the same clothes like a photocopier, H&M also considered localization. In May of year 2019, 
H&M launched a collection of products based on consumer search in each region, and at the end of last month, H&M opened a space named Hyperlocal in Germany, the largest market. And finally, clothing rental industry. The clothing rental business that rents clothes at a monthly fee among U.S. upper companies is rapidly growing. Clothing rental is highly likely to become a long-term trend. H&M also started to run a clothing rental service. It is expected to make a great contribution not only to the industrial race problem, but also to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. What are the promotional plans and recommendations? Currently, consumers' app ratings are mostly negative. As there are many errors and insufficient payment methods on the app, consumers' brand loyalty will decrease and gradually affect sales negatively. To expand the functions of the online market and the app, they need to look up the cases of their competitors. For example, Forever 21 was able to increase the purchase turnover by 20% with an AI function that recommends colors or designs to the customers. Also, Zara has accelerated the sales period online rather than offline and gained a marketing effect called earning media. Although the AI function might not work out immediately, if the categories are diversified by color styles or designs, and it becomes accurate and convenient for the users to find their clothes online, their functional and experiential needs will be able to stimulate. Next, according to a survey, millennials and Generation Z are inclined to purchase the sustainable products to be reused and use public transportation or carpooling as measures to protect the environment. As they are more interested in eco-friendly consumption, the purchases in the fast fashion are expected to be declined rapidly. In fact, we have no choice but to avoid fast fashion brands that sell and dispose of ready-made items of the same design. However, through developing more eco-friendly products, actively marketing them, putting the sincerity and brand personalities to consumers' brand awareness, eco-friendly cost-effect brands such as H&M might be able to take the lead. Thank you for listening.